in Savannah on the weekends, we just love being lazy. We like sleeping late and then getting up to a scrumptious, sinful brunch. And today I'm going to be working with different types of sweetenings. Instead of our normal syrup, we are going to change to honey. And I went on a field trip to find out how these bees actually make the honey, and it was so fascinating. So later on today, I'm going to be showing you some great dishes introducing that fabulous sweetener, honey. My buddy Ray at Tusi Honey Farm is the king of all beekeepers. He took me out to show me where all his yummy honey comes from. Well, let's take a look. And I have to tell you, I am a little scared. All right. But I'm going to... What um... we do is we put a little smoke in the hive. Bees communicate with pheromones, with odors. Am they... I submitting a scared odor right now? Well, I would say don't breathe heavily in the hive. Breathe slowly. And what I do when I come in and, and present a little smoke on the top of the hive, that confuses them. It breaks their lines of communication. I would be ever so grateful if you would do that for me. All right. So we'll just open this up. See how they calm down? Yes. Went back down in there? Except for this one around my face. What kind of honey is this? The taste, the flavor of the honey is dependent on the flower that it comes from. For instance, right. if you take buckwheat honey, that's very strong. Clover honey is very light. The flavor tends to be stronger as the season goes on, a lot like maple syrup. With maple syrup, the first flow is the lightest, the last flow is the heaviest, and the strongest in flavor. Well, tell me, when you buy honey that has the beeswax in it, yes. now, are you to eat that, or do you chew it and get out the flavor, or is it just there to keep the flavor going? What, what's you can the eat the whole thing. The whole thing is edible. You can chunk this up and barbecue with it. You can put it on a pork loin for the last few minutes of the baking cycle. I've seen people do roast peaches with it in desserts. You can put a slice on a piece of hot apple pie. That sounds great. Well, Ray, let's head back and get some honey, because I've got to start cooking. 